hey guys happy friday so um <laughs> the last time i picked up my camera was on monday i think that was the last time y'all saw me i don't even know how i'm gonna call this a weekly vlog we just gonna call it a vlog because it was not monday through the weekend so it, it, it isn't concise but honestly y'all um honestly i have been so busy with work like work has been literally killing me um i'm basically stepping onto a new team so i'm needing to learn the ins and outs of this new teams what they do the program programs they use and everything y'all oh my god they're doing construction outside my house right now my dog is having a fucking nervous breakdown in the back barking at i don't know who it's just very much ghetto it's just very much ghetto it's been ghetto all week so that's really another reason why i haven't picked up the good like the um what's the thing camera that's why it's just been ghetto i'm sorry but anywho like i said today is friday um saturday i'm meeting my friend chanzo i haven't seen him in maybe three or four years he was my old co-worker good friend of mine uh, we're going to Cooper Hawk to do some wine tasting. So I'm going to you guys who need to do that. That's on Saturday. And then also Saturday morning, I'm hoping to go to the Goodwill. I want to see if they got any, like, things that I could bring into my wardrobe. You know what I'm saying? But at a really discounted price, you know, because I already went shopping and I spent, like, enough money this week. So, anywho, we're going to do that on Saturday as well. And then on Sunday is my friend's wedding. So hopefully I'll show you guys a little snippet of that if she doesn't mind so yeah we got a full weekend got some things to do i'm gonna try to record that um i also need to work on a vlog when i get off work because my memory is like all stored up because i'm like two blogs two blogs behind you know what i'm saying like you know what i mean but anyway Back to the car surprisingly they didn't have a whole lot um when i used to go to the salvation army they used to have a lot of good stuff and i was really going to look for like an oversized trench coat but mm, the selection was very um the selection was very uh not great so yeah maybe the good wheel will actually have something a little bit better but I'm on a time crunch, so I'll have to check that out on another weekend. I'm waiting on my mom. She's still on the inside. I hate bringing her places like this because she will literally sit there and nitpick through every little tiny thing. But um, I showed you guys, I 
think I showed you guys a coat that I was looking at, but I didn't get it because the sleeves was too short, which is also like an issue I always run into when buying outerwear is the sleeves because I got long lengthy arms. But I ended up getting two blazers. One was by BCBG and then the other one was, I believe, Banana Republic and they were both $8. So it was like $16 for uh, two blazers, which is not bad because if you actually buy a blazer from Banana Republic, you're going to pay at least $50 for one. So it was pretty cool. And then I left out of there. I feel like I want to go bathe my body in alcohol for like covered in fucking germs. But I did wipe my hands with these anti back material wipes that I keep in the car but anyway I'm about to go home so I can get dressed um I need my mom to braid my hair so I can put my wig on and then I'm going to meet up with Chonzo for drinks so I'll check back with you guys when we make it to Cooper Hawk hey guys so I am currently in the car on my way to meet Chonzo at Cooper's Hulk um it was an accident on the expressway so they put me on a side street and baby they got me on the west side of Chicago and I'm just like <laughs> the west side of Chicago honey what is this ghetto mess but anywho I'm taking a side street so it's gonna take me a minute to get there this was the quicker route than the expressway y'all Chicago traffic is feeling real LA-ish right now because every time you get on the expressway it's packed baby it don't even matter the time of day it is packed all the time and I'm like where did everybody get a car from did they give away cars and I didn't know about it or was y'all buying cars with these unemployment checks? Like, what is T? What's T? Put me on, because it's time for me to get a new car. This is a regular piece of shit I'm driving. It's time to, you know, get rid of it. But, baby, it's paid off, so I'm going to roll this bitch till the wheels fall off. But, um, yeah, it's getting very much ghetto. Ooh. I'm nervous. I'll check with y'all when I get to, um, Cooper Hawk. They got a motherfucking couch on the sidewalk. It is a couch on the fucking sidewalk. I cannot. So you guys know I'm late, of course. Chonzo is already inside waiting for me. I finally found a park. It took me like 15 minutes to do that. But I'm about to walk in now. Oh, shit. 
That's right. Yeah, too much to drink. Yeah, I, I remember versus. Right. Okay. Oh, I, got um, I don't like it as much. No, you don't like it? No, not as much. No. Okay. But does it taste like a prosecco? Yeah, it does. It, just, it does. It does. It tastes like wow. A, it I tastes, it tastes like, like a prosecco. Slightly, slightly sweet, but like I would. Yeah, it's it a little like bit a, sweeter. Sweeter than a regular prosecco. Yeah. Right, that was brand new back in the Holy Spirit. That's a shame. Okay, now this one is the Cooper Hall Lux Ice Wine. Lux Ice Wine. You all smell it? Oh, shit. It smells sweet, right? It smells like some pickle juice. No, it don't. <laughs> no, it smells sweet like... You don't give me like a sweet smell. Sweet. Like sweet pickle juice. Okay, taste it. Mm. It's really sweet, right? That tastes like welcher. Like you feed that to the children yes. to go to sleep. But it has 18% alcohol, so you it's will get fucked up. Okay. 18% alcohol. Yeah, it's like it's like sweet juice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he's feeling like, he feeling real sexy yeah, now. That was the 90s. That was what we used to do. We used to sit up in a room. No real, smartphones. Real sexy. No cords. No nothing. Was that the boombox era? It was. It was the yeah. boombox? You're like, leave me alone, mom. Get out of my fucking room. I got my CDs. <laughs> and you just go through your CDs like, this is how I'm feeling today. This is how I'm feeling today. This one is really warm. Yeah. Let's see this. I'm not gonna lie, I smell a hint of pickle juice. You smell a hint of pickle juice? It smells dillard. I don't get that. To me it's like a like a lemon cello almost. I did have two pickles, so maybe it's my brother's <laughs> Maybe so, you can't eat a pickle, so I'm yeah. thinking that's probably what the vibe is. Motor, that's what it is. Oh yeah. She was on UPN. Oh yeah. Your older sister don't know about that. You know it. If I had to choose one or the other, this would be the one I would choose. The second one. Okay. The uh, Lux Ice Lux, one. Lux, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really sweet. Have you ever had their raspberry one? Yes. What about the rhubarb? I've had the rhubarb. I did that in my wine. That's really good. My wine bottle wine. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. Do not be thrown. Yeah. That's what we used to do back in the day. You're going to be writing four page love letters next. I've been listening to so much Aaliyah. <laughs> That's what I love is on us. Like, girl, you couldn't just write okay on a piece and send it back. You better four write something. Pages. Yeah. Baby, I was like, if Aaliyah page. was here today, she ain't seen no four-page text. She's like, I'm, no, nigga, get your shit together. She's going to be IRL, BRB, HTML. Yeah, she would not be doing no four-page letter. time with Chonzo like to be able to catch up with him was amazing um, I hope that you couldn't hear the background audio to my um, clips because if so I'll have to mute it but I guys I just want you guys to hear him and hear our conversation because he's like literally the funniest person that I know but we had a good time um, drank a lot of wine good time drank a lot of wine and now I need to pretty much like go home and just like flush my system out with water so I don't throw up so yeah, um, hopefully it's not traffic on my way home, but I will check in with you guys later because y'all know my phone is so ghetto, I cannot hold it up while I'm driving. So I'm currently doing my nails, um, late as ever, but what else is new?
Right. I can sell people. Hey, shit. Yeah, wow. you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you want to do this? Yeah. Uh, it's good. <laughs> I promise you. Let me give you a quick taste test. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's like. Hi, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. You guys, this is the first time I actually set up today. So, you guys probably would have saw in last week's weekly vlog was my friend's wedding. And, y'all, I got so drunk so drunk it, it was a hot ass mess honestly like i was the definition of a hot shitty mess um but i had such a good time i had that night literally about eight drinks and normally my limit is two like if i drink two if i have like two drinks if i have a third one i know that i'm pushing it but maybe yesterday all it all went out the door you know, I didn't care about that <laughs> I didn't care about nothing we was drinking 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 having a good time yeah so um I felt fine leaving the the venue um and when I made it to my car literally my head was just spinning and just like that it was like explosive vomiting like everything everything came out at that point so I actually had to call my dad. He had to pick up his friend and he had to come to the north side to get me and drive my car back home. So yeah, it, it's a mess. I'm pretty sure I threw up in my wig. I just put it on so I can get on this camera with y'all because if not y'all gonna see my meatmeal braids and it's not even glued down to my head, honey. My clothes are probably showing. I, it, I'm a hot ass mess. I'm a hot ass mess. Um, I took a half a day at work so this morning i really just need to sleep in throw up a couple of more times eat some soup drown some ginger ale a little pity like you know the whole little hangover you know you dig it so i'm actually i need to get on the clock right now it's one o'clock i'm gonna be working from one to five um my job just sent me a new monitor so i'm gonna hook that up but normally when i'm working i'm working on this little monitor right here and this monitor is actually <laughs> it's a tv it was my cousin's tv when he was in casa radio or whatever um and i've been using it but it's so cool because it's like literally like a see-through tv y'all see that it's so cute but yeah i used to put my actual monitor up so i'm gonna do that now um I'll probably do like a clean with me for my front room because y'all it's a hot mess like y'all look let me show y'all <laughs> so embarrassing do y'all see my house I was doing my nails I was laying on the couch I got my purse I got my hair spritz over there in the corner from flat under my hair like it's just this needs to go on the back porch I put this up well my mom my, my actually put it up for me but this needs to go on my back porch so I could store things it's ghetto it's just ghetto it's what is given but um i need to hook this monitor up and get to work because i'm pretty sure somebody gonna throw another meeting on my board and i don't want to talk to nobody else today like i literally don't have anything to say to anybody but everybody wants to talk to me leave me alone <laughs> space that takes up it's real ghetto but i do appreciate it okay, so i told y'all y'all gotta disregard my closure because i just slapped my wig on like it was a hat but i just got out of the meeting i got some work to finish that needs to be submitted by the time i get off and i got two more hours on the clock um so yeah I had to go to the back and get my little stand. I love this thing, you guys. I ordered it off Amazon. It's like a, a phone stand. You can set your phone on it this way, or you can do it the long way. But y'all know, I've been sitting here watching my little YouTube videos while I'm working. Keep me company. 
Because I just cannot work in silence. I can't. Sometimes I'll play music, but just sitting here looking at the computer screen will drive me crazy. But yeah, I'm just eating me a banana to hopefully give myself a little bit more nourishment after I threw up everything that was in my body. I hope I lost 10 pounds. Um, I doubt that I did, but if I did, great. Might want to throw up a couple of more times. Let me say I'm just playing. For y'all think. <laughs> Let me say that I'm just playing. Before y'all think I'm anorexic. Um, but yeah, I got some work to finish up. And when I get off, I need to go run to the store, get the dog some dog food. I need to go to the bank, get some cash out. And um, what else is going on today? Clean up my house. It's nasty. And quite honestly, it smells a little bit. Not cute for nobody. My dog just farted something so nasty like they farts be off the chain like I literally be having to look at them and be like what are you eating like I mean obviously eating what I feed them but baby them dog farts and they silent too be about to blow you away like literally I be wanting to throw up like I already don't feel good and just smelling that it, it's just like oh god go fan your ass out it's a mess um but yeah, um, I am just going to finish up working and then I will check back with you guys later. Hey y'all, so, um, oh, let me clock out. Okay, so I just clocked out of work for the day. Um, I told y'all I had to run to the ATM and, um, clean up my house and all that other stuff. So I'm about to go run to the ATM. I just found a recipe online for a dairy-free carbonara. And I feel like my hangover needs something heavy. Like I need something heavy. Normally I like to eat fried food, like when I have a hangover, like some fried chicken or something like that. But I'm really not feeling nothing like that tonight. So I'm gonna make a dairy-free carbonara. And it's a Whole Foods by the bank. So I'm gonna pop in Whole Foods and kind of just get what I need from there. So yeah, let's go. I literally just need a few things so I'm hoping that I could just be in and out. Okay guys, so I just got back from the grocery store and this is pretty much everything that I got. Quick little haul for you guys. Um, I saw this brand, Follow Your Heart. They had a dairy-free um, feta cheese crumbles. I thought that I would try these out and see what they taste like. Um, I got some coconut milk. I also saw this organic creamy Caesar and it's also dairy-free. So I'm going to give this a try as well. See if I like it. See if it's a hit or not. Um, I got a chicken pot pie just on days that I don't feel like cooking. Um, I throw that in the oven for my pasta tonight. I got my some gluten free spaghetti. I got bacon. I also got some salad. I got some chicken wings, some mini cucumber, and lastly, I got these microgreens. I thought that I could do this like with some bread, like. Maybe like a fried egg, some bread, and like microgreens. I don't know. I just, girl, I saw them and I just like, I'm at them. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up from 
the grocery store today okay guys so to make the carbonara pasta tonight this is everything i'm gonna be using i have some gluten-free spaghetti here normally you use linguine noodles for this but they didn't have any gluten-free linguine so i'm just gonna be using spaghetti i got some thick sliced bacon um coconut milk that's the substitute i'm gonna use for my dairy but of course if you're not making a dairy-free version of this feel free to use some heavy whipping cream you're also gonna need two eggs and an onion and also some garlic just for a little bit extra flavor you're also going to need um cheese i'm going to be using a dairy-free cheese myself but of course use like mozzarella or like parmesan whatever your taste buds require